Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I did a quick monthly setup in my Clever Fox daily planner. I've been seeing these all over Instagram and Clever Fox actually sent me this planner a couple of years ago. And I love that it's undated and I can pop in and out of it and use it when sometimes I really, really, really need daily planning. And then there's sometimes that I really don't. And so I love that I can just hop in and out of it at my leisure. This is an excellent planner. Uh, I would highly suggest following them on Instagram to see other people's setups. And of course, I've got a few here on my channel and you could check out my entire planner playlist. So before, when you're doing these, these daily pages, it's very important to set up your weekly page first. There's a monthly, a weekly page, just one page for the whole week, and then individual daily pages. And this is where you can put your goals, your actual reward for meeting those goals, what your, not just your, there is a place for personal to-do list, but your priorities. So kind of the bigger things, like I wrote, be present, play in the snow, that kind of thing. Those things aren't gonna go on my to-do list, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and there is a space for a work to-do list, and for me, that is uh, housework, that is um, uh, my YouTube work, that is Etsy. Uh, I also do some health coaching. And so those are those kind of income producing activities. Let's just put it that way. And you can see on this week, I had quite a few. February for me is more of a refreshing time or a time that I need a refresh even more so than um, January. And uh, so this is when I'm kind of getting sick of the school year and sometimes I need something fun and fresh to look forward to. And you can see here, I'm putting down my personal to do's in this planner, I can use pretty much any pen that I want. Here, I'm using a Papermate Flair, the gold standard in felt tip pens. Am I right? They are so wonderful. They don't bleed, flu bleed through. The pages in the Clever Fox planner are so thick and so strong. There's you're gonna be hard pressed to find something to soak through those. But you can see here that I'm just writing these things. I do not have a color coded system at all. I just, I open the, the, the pen case or the marker book you'll see here in a second. I open it and just, what, what is speaking to me? <laughs> I let the colors lead them, lead, lead me to them. So you know what I mean? But my habit tracker is huge. I have been sticking with the same habit tracker for several years now, and these are the big things. In this, I added zones because y'all, I really need to get back on Fly Lady consistently. And uh, yeah, now when I was putting this weekly list together, I had already been on a Monday. So I went ahead and filled that in that day. Uh, we started the first day with no zones. Oh man, what is everybody gonna do with me? <laughs> At the bottom here, there are several different uh, blanks for your life balance to-do list. There's fun and recreation, personal development, health and fitness, spiritual relationships, all of that, uh, family and friends, which I think also goes with relationships uh, it, uh, because my husband and I have a relationship, but he is also my family. You know what I mean? Some of these things kind of mesh together and that's really okay. I take Bible reading as my personal development. That is huge. And also that does flow into the spiritual, if that makes sense. But, um, oh yeah, that was the week we had the, the couple's dinner. I am clearly uh, editing this after I have done all these things because I don't want y'all knowing what I'm doing every day. <laughs> so yeah, now we're gonna go to an actual daily page and and each each day of the week has a, uh, has a dedicated page. And this happens to be January 31st. And that's where I can write down my main goal for the day. There isn't a, <laughs> I'm just laughing at that. There isn't a reward for it, but get through school. Just sometimes just getting through that is its own reward if you other homeschool mamas feel me on that one. And then there are some uh, priorities. That day we did school at the library, which we do every now and then for a change of scenery. But the only thing on my actual schedule on Monday night was for refit. And so here is a spot for my to-do list. I make the playlist for our refit classes. If you're interested in refit, I highly recommend checking them out on YouTube. I can try to remember to link them below. And of course you can go on to refitrev.com if you like to dance. It doesn't matter if you can or can't. 
just as long as you're moving. That's <laughs> that's all that, that we care about. At the very bottom, there is a rate your productivity. I have used that for everything else but rating my productivity. I don't know, that that's a blank that doesn't speak to me. I have used that for tracking my water. So if you're thinking, what do I use that for? You can use it for tracking your water or tracking the miles you've walked that day or uh, I don't know, the times you lost your temper. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, anything that you want to track, I think it goes up to 12. I can't remember. But anyway, um, on the next day, I had a little bit more on our schedule. And this was actually a week we got a snowstorm, a big snowstorm. So I think I put prep for winter storm or prep for storm every single day on my to-do list because that was very, very necessary. We were expecting, they were telling us, um, four inches that were telling us eight inches there was one that was up to 20 inches and I think when all was said and done we got about eight or nine which was a lot uh, a bunch of stuff got canceled for two days but that's just that's living in the Midwest in <laughs> in uh, in the winter you see on here read on my Kindle I recently got a new Kindle I traded in my old one and got a new one and uh, yeah if you do that they actually give you a little bit of money I got ten dollars for my Kindle and a 20% off uh, discount on a new one so that's pretty cool but there's stuff about reading with an actual paper book but I love being able to put my Kindle in my purse and take that with me where I go if I'm at Taekwondo or someplace where I'm gonna be sitting for a while I, I definitely like to have something to read and this is what I do on these daily pages uh, I, I I could use a highlighter and color in the whole section but for me sometimes it's just it's just that arrow of that blocking out of time works the best for me and of course that is that is just me and if you're wondering Awana that night got canceled <laughs> because we got ice the night before it was crazy so anyway this is how I set up uh, my daily pages whenever I'm in this clever fox planner again go check them out on YouTube check them out on Instagram their website they make amazing products and of course be sure to check out my play planner playlist which I'll link below Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.